Welcome to Badminton Unlimited, where we bring you all things connected to the world's fastest racket sport. Coming up, Chinese Taipei's men's doubles duo Li Zhehui and Li Yang tell us how they plan to stay true to themselves on court. We the badminton racket is much more than just strings and metal. Yonex, one of the sport's leading brands, shows us the art of crafting one. The HSBC BWF World Tour continues with the Singapore Badminton Open 2018 this week. We'll give a quick preview of what to expect from the action in the island nation. In the third of four back-to-back -back HSBC BWF World Tour tournaments, Bangkok played host to the Toyota Thailand Open 2018 at the Nimibuta Stadium. The mixed doubles final was the first to be decided on Sunday. Top seeds Chris and Gabrielle Adcock were first up against Indonesia's world number 11 duo Hafiz Faisal and Gloria Emanuel Wijaja. Having fallen at the semi-final stage on two occasions this year, the Southeast Asians were determined to get their hands on their first title, and they did it in convincing fashion, upsetting the Commonwealth Games champions 21-12, 21-12. I feel this now and today uh so excited for me and my partner and because this is my me and Hafiz first first uh, champion in 2018 uh, in in 9 months uh, i'm partner in Hafiz uh, with Hafiz and yeah i'm very very happy and thanks to all supporter in Indonesia Indonesia in here strategi hari ini dari awal kita udah siapin buat uh, main nolok panjang. Kita sudah nyiapin uh, kaki kita biar cepat, terus pemanasannya yang banyak. Jadi pas masuk lapangan kita sudah udah fokus sama mainnya, udah tinggal konsisten aja di lapangan. Dan alhamdulillah mereka uh, mungkin kecolongan juga sama kita, jadi kita bisa unggul poin dari mereka. Japan featured in the next four matches, starting with the men's doubles, which was an all Japanese affair and a repeat of the title match in Malaysia two weeks ago. With a comfortable 19 to 16 points lead in the second game, world number 16 pair Hiroyuki Endo and Yuta Watanabe looked set to force a decider. However, their higher ranked compatriots Takeshi Kimura and Keigo Sonoda had other ideas as they strung together five points in a row to close out the match and land their second tour title. <laughs> Mizaki Matsutomo and Ayaka Takahashi were the overwhelming favourites heading into the women's doubles final, having won their last five meetings against Gracia Poli and Apriani Rahayu. The Indonesians upset the form book to claim the first game and held a healthy 11-4 lead in the second before the Rio Olympic gold medalists launched a comeback. Poli and Rahayu reacted decisively to stop their opponent's resurgence at 13-9 and went on to claim their second trophy, having first tasted success in India earlier this year. We just keep learning to in our previous match and how how we uh, how we lost us to you know to many matches to them. And uh, you know, we want to just keep training on the court and we just uh, we had nothing to lose against them. And of course we wanted to win them. We really wanted to win them. Yeah. Especially about mentality, because we've been, you know, losing them so many times, like six, five times. So I think it's just like you know for the for, for this time I want to we, we just prepare our you know we have we have to go to the court and then set our new mental and then we want to win we, we want to get this champion so I think it's about that. In the only match that went the distance, 22-year-old shuttler Kanta Tsuniyama drew first blood before the more experienced Tommy Sugiato made a late charge from 10-11 to even the score. Looking to pick up his maiden HSBC BWF World Tour title, the young Japanese dominated proceedings in the third game and after 58 minutes of play, Tsuniyama emerged victorious. 21-16, 13-21, 21-9 read the final score.
今回の大会はなんですかシード選手が結構棄権してたんで、まあ、自分にとってはチャンスであったんで,でそこで勝ちきれたっていうのは本当に自信になりました2ゲーム目のなんていうんですか前半は良かったんですけど後半ちょっと気持ちが切れてしまってでファイナルはもうやる,きあやるなんていうんですかあの最後の1ゲームで。1ゲームなんで、まあ、全力出し切ろうと思ってやりました最後はなんていうんですか思いっきりスマッシュを打つんじゃなくてちょっと軽めに流してしあ軽めに打ってあ緩い感じで打ってちょっとラリーして本当にチャンス球が来るまで我慢してやってました There was little separating Pusala v s i n t u and Nozomi Okuhara with their head to head evenly poised at five apiece Seeking her first title since her World Championships triumph last August, where she beat her Indian opponent, Okuhara won the first game. Ranked eighth in the BWF World Rankings, the Japanese kept up her aggression to move ahead 17 14 in the second. Sindhu's desire to avoid another runner up finish for the third time this year was evident as the world number three dug deep to level at 18 all. But her unforced errors, coupled with Okuhara's dogged display, seemed a well deserved victory for the number four seed. Less than two months since the conclusion of the Total BWF Thomas and Uber Cup Finals 2018, the heroic performance of Thailand's Uber Cup team in reaching a historic maiden final must still be fresh in the minds of the Thais. With thousands flocking to the Toyota Thailand Open, we grabbed the opportunity to ask the fans who among the Thailand's Uber Cup team would be their ideal doubles partner. I would like to team up with Usanan. Her game and strategy is very, is very good. Let's you know in the north because she's very clever, smart. I want to play with Tafsili.、Uh, very good in footwork. I will play with Usanan in my mum pang and Isha on Sinaphone because she's very cute and beautiful. Yeah. Tafsili, Tai Rana Tana Shai because she plays badminton very well and she's so strong. Isha on Sinaphone. I think she's really fast and playing really good. I will partner her, Busanan, number one. Busanan, Ung Bam Lung Pan. She plays、uh, really well and really quick. I would like to play with Sub Siri because she plays really, very clever and accurate. I want to play with Jong Kon Han, Kit Tin Yak Han, Un Han. I would like to partner with Tita because、uh, she's a backup player and she can, she can smash very hard. The first name that comes to mind when you think of Chinese Taipei badminton is, of course, Tai Tzu Ying. But in the men's doubles discipline, the Chinese Taipei players are also making their presence felt, with four pairs ranked in the world's top 20. One such pairing is Li Jiehui and Li Yang. They sprang into the spotlight at the French Open 2017, beating their more experienced Danish opponents as well as second seeds Matthias Bo and Carsten Morgensen to claim their maiden World Super Series title. They've done it! Li j i h u a i and Li Yang both. Sink to the floor. The realization of what they have achieved. They have beaten last year's champions. 其实也很难想象自己可以打到超级赛的冠军吧。然后，其实那一场球打起来，我自己这边的话，跟前几场比的话，其实还是有一段差距这样子。Badminton Unlimited sat down with the world number 12 duo recently as they tell us a bit about themselves. Because my father's father is a fan of badminton, so he will take me out to play badminton. And then he will play with my father and he will play with me. He will play with me and he will play with me. I am the best player in the world. 比较喜欢运动，然后所以国小都会跟着
哥哥到外面去打球，所以打久了以后就慢慢也喜欢上打羽毛球这个运动。越南羽球公开赛吧，那个越南羽球公开，我赢了古建杰跟陈文宏，然后古建杰是本身就是我的偶像，然后也没有想过会赢他，然后那也是我们第一次的国际赛冠军，然后所以对我觉得意义非常重大，因为能够赢偶像算是一个很不得了的事情，对。有时候我打不好，然后其实哲辉他在这方面，他其实从来也没有看过他一次怪我说，哎，我打不好，状况不好，然后导致输球，嗯，然后都是大部分都是给予我正向的鼓励，这样，然后让我其实一直觉得说，我可以在场上做好我自己的事情就好。李阳在场上其实有帮助我打球时的脾气有降低下来，可能因为我们还年轻吧，所以我在想。所以我们对每一场球都保持着憧憬，所以不会特别去担心输了会有什么想法，就是单纯的在场上就是做好自己每一件事情，然后不去想输了有什么后果。It seems that Li Yang and Li Jiehui will always have each other's backs on court, but what about off it? We had the guys go through our fun quiz. 车，你又喜欢什么车啊？你又喜欢什么车哦？我，我觉得我自己也错嘞。哇，这个，你死在写错。呃，宝马是 B N W， 宝马，宝马是 B N W 吗？对啊。你知道为什么知道你认错吗？因为我看到你比划太多了。食物是我记忆力太差吗？食物的范围也太大了吧？饭算吗？我写完了。呃 ，OK OK， 我就写一个字就好了。靠不了写歌手了，哎一样一样一样一样一样一样，一样一样，我也想是一样。游戏也算吗？就是 A P P。啊，写一个简单的。好了，那已经错了。<笑>我写你在玩的游戏呢，你玩这么久，你不喜欢他，我已经放弃了。你一定会写错。人家手哥是这样写，<笑>我歌名终于都写错了，你都写那么长了，那已经错了。我跟你讲，你已经写错没？我知道你会写什么吧？<笑>我知道你会写什么，我先帮你写在下面了。你就写你的，你开心。我写完了。哦，好，来。我不，所以我现在才说歌名。你怎么可能会写？这个没什么好错了。滴滴错，完全错了。歌名对，歌名对吗？滴滴对。那个句，我句是我猜他会写啊。这十年一刻是那个苏打绿的。Time for a short break. Up next, we're in Niigata, Japan, to see what it takes to make a world-class badminton racket at the Yonex Racket Factory. The badminton racket is a thing of beauty, and one can truly appreciate the skill that goes into making one by visiting a racket factory. And Badminton Unlimited was lucky enough to get invited to visit the factory of one of the front runners in racket production, Yonex. Located in Niigata, Japan, the Yonex Racket Factory harmoniously brings together the very latest technological innovation with traditional craftsmanship. Nagai Haruka, Yonex, has been in the Yonex for 8 years. 
組み立て工程を担当しています。Haruka Nagai is one of 90 people who work at Yonex's new Nagata factory, the newest jewel in Yonex's production crown, which started operations in June 2016. Having worked in racket production for almost a decade, Haruka explains just how a badminton racket is made. This is the first time of the racket. First, the material is cut and 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 cut. 金型に入れ加熱しフレームとシャフトを研磨しきれいにしますここにグロメットを刺すための穴を開けていきます。キャップとグリップを組み立てます。何回も塗装を行い、シールを貼ることで、このような綺麗でカラフルなラケットに仕上がります。最後にグリップを巻いて完成となりますこの状態で世界のお客様にお届けしていますす一番重要視しています。世界中のお客様が安心してプレーしていただけるように品質に問題がないように作業を行っています。So the next time you pick up your badminton racket, have a think about the process it's been through. With the Total BWF World Championships just around the corner, players will look to this week's Singapore Badminton Open 2018 as part of their final preparations before the ultimate showdown in Nanjing. Here's our 90 seconds preview of the HSBC BWF World Tour Super 500 tournament. Singapore Badminton Open 2018 will be held at the Singapore Indoor Stadium from the 17th to the 22nd of July and is one of the seven Super 500 tournaments on the tour. Last year's honor roll saw Sai Pranith take home the men's singles title, while veterans Matthias Bow and Carsten Mogensen scooped up the men's doubles crown. Their compatriots in women's doubles, Camilla Ritter-Yul and Christina Pedersen, followed up Denmark's success in the finals. Mixed doubles was won by China's Liu Kai and Huang Ya Chong, and with the pair having since split, fans at the indoor stadium will witness a new champion in the category this year. Blibli Indonesia Open champions Tontawi Ahmad and Liliana Natsia will go to the Republic as favourites, the Indonesians topping the seedings list ahead of Malaysians Go Soon Huat and Chevon Jamie Lai. Chris and Gabriel Adcock will be in the reckoning as well, the reigning Commonwealth gold medalists are seeded fourth. With the unstoppable Tai Tzu Ng deciding not to defend her title this year, Singapore will also unveil a new queen in women's singles. Even with top seed Ratchanok Intanon missing out due to injury, it's anyone's guess who will emerge victorious in the end. Number two and three seeds Nichion Jindapol and Pei Wen Zhang look to be the front runners on paper, but with two tour titles already to her name, Sayaka Takahashi, who's seeded fifth, will fancy her chances as well. With a total of $355,000 US dollars to be shared amongst the winners on finals day, The Singapore Badminton Open 2018 is all set to serve up some exciting top class badminton action.
Last year's edition of the OUE Singapore Open rewrote the history books when Cyprinith triumphed in an All India Men singles final. The then world number 15 battled from a game down to become his nation's first men singles champion in the Lion City. This contest is our classic match this week. We have an all unseeded men's singles final and for the first time ever it features two players from India. So to the mid-game interval with a four-point advantage. Shrikanth Kadambi. Brilliant. Lovely play from Sai Pranith. He's a player that's been promising for a long time. Opening game to Shrikanth Kadambi. Ah, oh, take that, that's magnificent. What a smash. Thundered it down the line. Well, at 6-1, I thought Trickant Kadambi was cruising. It's gone wide. It's one game all. the short lift by the quality of the net play and that's why I was saying that control at the front of the courts might prove very Six, important. Oh, great defence. Yeah, well played. Three points away. Little clenched fist. Looks skywards. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's super. Fast drop shot played with an acute angle. Oh, we've done it. It's match point opportunities for Sai Pranith Bamiti Party. He's done it. A maiden Super Series title for Sai Pranith in his first ever Super Series tournament final. A man who had never even won a Grand Prix gold event takes the Singapore Super Series title, beating his teammate and friend, Srikanth Kadambi. What a tournament he's had. the Singapore Indoor Stadium for finals day. Would you believe it? And the realisation that a dream has become reality.
That's all the time we have, but do join us next week as we bring you a special preview of the upcoming blockbuster in Nanjing, the Total BWF World Championships 2018. I don't think that I have to always think about my back pain and I just hope, concentrate with my training. And if you want to be in the know about all the latest stories and features on the HSBC BWF World Tour, just log on to bwfbadminton.com. See you next week.